the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob reach second C and awaken the Sanfu. But before that, guys, I made a Twitter account for future announcements and giveaway. So make sure to follow this account. Aside from that, to show your support, you can use his star code GamerNom when purchasing your Robux. Okay, guys, so let's make this faster because I know New Year is fast approaching. First off, we're gonna eat this fruit. For those who's watching One Piece, the owner of this fruit is Crocodile, right? Okay, Crocodile. Okay, so now guys, we're gonna start with the first skill, Desert Sword. And we're gonna start defeating the bandits. Okay, you need to lure 5. Again guys, this is a Logia type of fruit, which makes it faster to level up. So there you go, that is the Desert Sword. Multi-target as long as you are within its line of attack. Guys, by the way, this is the Logia effect. If you reach a level and their enemy is not uh, using Haki, you cannot be damaged okay so at level 10 you can now move to your next target island which is the jungle so here we're gonna start with the monkeys level requirement level 10 here you go so you're gonna lure three at a time you need to defeat six to finish a quest guys if you finish one quest with this you will reach level 14 so it depends if you want to defeat monkeys to reach level 15 or you want to do another quest if you do another quest as you can see log effect you will reach level 17 so it really depends to you as long as you reach level 15. Okay, so at level 15, you're gonna start with the gorillas. They're located here. But there you go, lure four. You're gonna need to do this twice to finish a quest. Guys, if you're level 17 here, with just one quest, you will reach level 20. But for my case, I started at 15 here. Oh, so there you go. Sand flight at mastery 15. You don't need a boat anymore. There you go. But you need to hold the letter F, okay? Okay, there you go. So there you go, go back to Gorilla Grinding. The goal here is to reach level 20. And at level 20, you can now go to our next target, the Gorilla King. This is the mini boss in this island. There you go, so use your Z skill. Again, your friend is the high ground. There you go, so just in case your uh, enemy get thrown towards you, just move in another area. But guys, he's very easy to defeat. The goal here is to reach level 30. Next up, Pirate Village. So here, we're gonna start with the pirates, there you go. So again, requirement is level 30. There you go. You need to defeat eight. So lure four at a time. There you go. One, two, three, and four. There you go. Use your Z skill. Keep on using your Z skill until you defeat them. Okay. The goal here is to reach level 40. Don't worry, guys. There is log effect with this mob. So there you go. It will be very easy to defeat. No need to dodge. When you reach that certain level, there you go. At level 40. We're gonna start with the brutes. So they're located here. Use your Z skill to lure them. Okay, next stop here. Z skill, you will lure four and one more to lure five. You're gonna need to defeat five twice to level up because you need to defeat nine, right? There you go. The goal here is to reach level 60, but at level 55, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island, Bobby. Go. As you can see, log effect again. These enemies here are not using hockey. So again, easy. Oh, by the way, at Mastery 40, we will be unlocking the Desert Funeral. Guys, this is a single target attack, so I really don't like this when you're grinding. But in terms of fighting mini bosses or single target enemies, this is very good. Okay, so for example, this one, Bobby. Okay, so we're gonna use our Desert Funeral here. See that, guys? You can set up him for different attacks. Okay, so there you go. As long as you dodge, use your skills, mini bosses will be very easy with this fruit. Target level is 60. Before we move on, stat check, melee, 26, defense, 26, 131, blocks fruit. So next island is a desert. We're gonna start here with the desert bandits at level 60. Guys, check this out. At level 60, Logia effect. Meaning, no, no need for a tip. Just use your skills to finish them. The faster, the better, okay? 75 you can now move to your next target which is the desert officers so you need to defeat six or four or three at a time there you go again your uh log effect is already in effect so very easy you know, the goal here is to reach level 105 but before we move on to our next island stat check 44 melee 44 defense 227 blast food for our next island here we go the frozen village before we start grinding buy all what the ability teacher sells, the Gepo, the Busso, and 
the soul rule okay so we're gonna start here with the yeti so very easy again use your z x skill this is a lot easier compared to the gorilla king y because you have the desert funeral okay so again you can do server hop here but guys i suggest you go to the snow bandits why because you haven't unlocked all your skills yet so you need to defeat lots and lots of mobs for mastery okay so here you go snow bandits defeat seven don't worry log is in effect you can lure five at a time for a faster mastery defeat them there you go okay so guys goal here is to reach level 130 so if you ever you have a chance to defeat the yeti go for it Okay, at level 130, oh, stat check, 70 melee defense, 250 blocks fruits, next island, marine fortress. So here guys, we're gonna start with the vice admiral, there you go. So again, now that you have two skills to damage the enemy, desert funeral and desert sword, everything will be a lot easier. Just make sure to dodge his skill every time you use your skill and everything will be fine. Oh, we got the coat. And by this time, we will be able to unlock our fourth skill, the sand tornado. Guys, this is a desert funeral but AoE. Yeah. So you can attack multiple enemies using this. So at level 150, 88 melee, defense, blocks for 277, we are ready to move on to the Skylands. So we're gonna start here with the Sky Bandits. You need to defeat 7, right? Again, guys, these mobs don't have hockey. So there you go, Logia effect. And you have 3 skills to damage them. Especially the Desert Sword and the Sand Tornado, so everything will be faster. The goal here is to reach level 175. And before even that, final skill unlock, Heavy Sand. But guys, I don't suggest this. Maybe for last hit, but check that out. So your enemies will be pushed away really far, so not good for grinding. Anyways guys, Dark Masters at 175, they're located here. You're gonna need to lure 4 at a time. There you go. So I suggest you use your Z and C skill, just in case someone survives, use your Desert Funeral. For last hitting, use your Heavy Sand, okay? The goal here is to reach level 225. And before we move to our next island, stat check again, 159 melee defense, Lost Fruit 357. Okay, for our next island now guys, the Coliseum. So here we're gonna start with the Toga Warriors. Okay, you need to defeat 7, right? So here you go. You're gonna need to lure 4 at a time. So, again, no problem with the skills. Okay. You know, see skill. And use your heavy sand if you want. But uh, again, I don't suggest it. There you go, guys. So, the goal here is to reach level 275. And after that, you can now proceed to the gladiators. You need to defeat 8. To lure 4 at the time. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Do this twice to level up. Again, the goal here is to reach level 300 but guys i'm gonna show you an island which will help you grind faster in the prison guys you can start here at 250 actually at 200 but guys 250 is the requirement for this one's one so this gives up a lot of experience okay so at 225 i guessed uh yes there you go the chief warden and at 200 the warden so i suggest you go here at 250 okay Okay guys, so again, our goal is to reach level 300. Okay, so I went back to the gladiators, there you go. Guys, after this, stat check. 218 melee defense, blocks fruit 464. Next island, Magma Village. So here guys, we're just gonna focus the military soldiers until we reach level 350. Yes, oh sorry, 375. Yep. You need to lure 5 at a time, yes. You can lure 5 as long as you lure them in the bridge, yes. Okay, so here you need to defeat 10, right? So 5, do it twice, okay? Again, guys, goal here is to reach level 375. We're gonna skip the military spice. But at 350, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island, the Magma Admiral. There you go, guys. So just use your skills. I'm telling you guys, this one's easy because every time I use a skill, like the Z or C skill, he uses his skill. So, it will serve as a cue that you will dodge. Check that out guys. So, there you go. Very easy to defeat the Magma Admiral. So, if you want, you can do server hop here. Why? Because you already have all the skills. So stat check, melee, 298. Defense, 298. Blast fruit, 529. For our next island or city, the underwater city. 
So we're gonna start here and end again with the Fishman Warriors. We're just gonna focus here. You need to defeat eight, right? So we're four at the time. Defeat them. Guys, there's, se there's seven here, so you still need to like wait for it to spawn. That's why four at the time, okay? Do it twice to finish a quest. The goal here is to reach level 450, but guys, you can defeat Fishman Lord at 425. There you go. Again, as long as you dodge this one, the trident, everything will be fine. So use your skills, dodge, 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 and defeat the Fishman Lord. Okay, so next up, guys, at 450 Skylands, we're gonna go step higher to start defeating the God's Gorns. This is my favorite grinding area. Why? Because the enemies here jump, so they won't get stuck. So you need to lure four at a time, defeat them using your skills, obviously. Do it twice to finish a quest. The goal here is to reach level 525. But guys, uh, there's a mini boss here. The Whisper, you can defeat him at 500, okay? So he's located here. There you go. We're gonna skip the Shandas. But just, I'm gonna show it to you how to defeat the Whisper. Guys, use your skill, right? After you use your skill, just keep dodging to the side. And as long as you dodge his cannon, everything will be fine. Actually, it's the same with the other bosses, okay? Okay, so again, we're gonna skip the Shandas. We're gonna go straight to the Royal Squad. So guys, you can lure four or five at a time here. There you go. You use your skills. It's a good thing. We have lots of skills for AoE damage. There you go. So we can grind faster. So guys, at 575, you can start defeating the Thunder God. There you go. Again, use your skills, right? Dodge, dodge, dodge. Wait for his skill. There you go. Use your skills. Dodge, use your skills. And everything will be fine. Guys, you can do server hop here until you reach level 625. And that's the fastest way, I guess. There you go. But if you have times too, then go for it. So next island, guys, we have the Fountain City. So here, we're gonna start and end with the Galley Pirates. There you go. You need to lure four. There you go. One, two, three, and four. Lure them in between. There you go. Guys, if you want, you can use your Z skill because they will get thrown in front of you. There you go. Now they're inside your area now. Use your C skill, V skill, Z skill, whatever skill. As long as you defeat them, do it twice to level up. So again, guys, the goal here is 700, but you can start defeating the cyborg. Yes, at level 675. There you go. How do you defeat him? Guys, just dodge Jesse's skill. There you go. Dot cannon, multiple cannon, whatever you call it. As long as you dodge that, everything will be easy. So use your skill. Dodge, wait for it to use a skill, and then use your skill. And when you reach level 700, you will get a quest, and that quest will ask you to go to the prison, and they will give you a key. Oh, where's the key? I cannot see the key. <laughs> but anyways, go to the frozen village, go to the cave, remember? Okay, there's the key now. <laughs> use it to open this door, and you will find the Ice Admiral, defeat him, never mind that, go back to the prison. Go to the middle town. Guys, I apologize if it's kind of loud because New Year is coming, so it's obvious. Teleporting to the second sea. There you go. And we're not done yet, right? So we're gonna awaken all the skills of the sand fruits. So guys, I ask help from my brothers. There you go. So again, we are here in the second sea. Okay, so moving straight, we're gonna go to the... Uh, Hot and cold lab, open this one. Again, we will be needing help. So let's fast forward, guys. So this is the raid. There you go, we're fighting the boss. I'm gonna show you the requirements to unlock each and every skill. There you go. Shout out to my uh, brothers, Pio and Yed. There you go, shout out to you, bro. So they're the ones using the Awakened uh, Buddha and the uh, Venom. And I kinda help, guys. I kinda help, okay? So there you go. So guys, we're gonna unlock like uh, five skills, right? A session. So for the requirements, for the Z skill, the requirement is... Wait, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay. 500, guys. 500 for the Z skill. So now, Desert Sword. Okay. We'll become Desert Blade. I'm gonna show it to you later. Next skill, we have the F skill, 2000 fragments. Oh, this is the flight, right? So now, tornado flight. And for the, what's next? I think it's the X skill. 
you have XC skill 3000 fragments. As I'm showing this to you, so just in case you want, you can uh, compute how much fragments do we need. Next up, guys, for the C skill, 4000 fragments. Okay? And for the last skill, the V skill, I think you need 5000. So there you go, 5000. Yes, 5000. Okay, so now, guys, we're gonna showcase all of the skills. So for the Desert Blade, Oh, it looks better now. Looks cooler, guys. Guys, don't judge the damage because, again, we're just level 700 and these mobs are strong for us. So next up, the Sand Coffin. Still, guys, single target, but maybe higher damage, right? There you go. Next up, the Sandstorm. Looks a lot better. There you go, the Sandstorm. There you go. Okay. And last but not least, the Deep Sand. Check this out, guys. Boom. Wow, looks stronger. So guys, I hope I can show you like the full power of it. Like need to level up an account and unlock all these skills. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. Tomorrow, level 1 to 700 using Soul Fruit. Can I do that? I will do everything I can even though it's New Year for everyone. Oh, by the way, this is the Tornado Flight. <laughs> So again, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. Happy New Year. See you on my next video. GamerNom out.